We begin with that murder suicide. It took place at a home in the 1600 block of Karen Drive near Gallahar and Greenwood. A man and his girlfriend are dead and police are now trying to determine what triggered the violence. Our Brian Burns is standing by live at the crime scene with what we know tonight. Brian. Well, Joe Katia, the house where the crime happened is actually about six houses down on the other side of the street and we moved to out of respect for the family who are there now. Now, the sound of gunshots brought police to that home around 9 this morning, and a male and female were found dead inside. We got a call from another friend saying that he shot his girlfriend and then shot himself, but we have no reason. We don't know why. He was just going through some things, I've heard. You know, I guess his parents passed away, and he was going through some stuff. A resident who knew the man and woman involved in the murder-suicide. Another resident says nothing like this has happened in the past 30 years he's lived here. It has never been. This is the time that I know that nothing has happened before. This is something I've happened in the other places, but not here. Police were called to this home on Thursday night because of an argument over a cell phone, but no arrests were made. Then shortly after 9 Friday morning, a neighboring relative heard gunshots. Upon officers arriving, we found two individuals deceased from gunshot wounds. Uh, one male, one female. They're both in their 50s. Uh, at this point, um, it appears that they may have had a relationship. At this point, that's what it appears to be. It's a, it's a murder suicide between a male and a female. Neighbors say they've heard arguments coming from the home before, but did not know those who lived inside. Assistant Chief Gutierrez says you don't have to suffer an abusive relationship alone. We encourage anyone who's in an abusive relationship, be it male or female, uh, to, to reach out either to the family members or to the police department. We have resources within the police department that, um, that can assist individuals who, who are in need. Brian Burns, 3 News.